In today's video, I am gonna be using um, some stuff that I have in my collection that I really either haven't gotten a chance to use or maybe I haven't used it in a while. So I'm kind of doing a Shop My Collection series. If you are interested in seeing the products that I am gonna be using that I already have in my collection, and you may have in yours too, you just may not have used them in a while, then keep watching. So for today's look, I am actually gonna be using the Huda Beauty, this is her nude palette. And I received this for Christmas, um, just this past year. And I've only used it a few times. I really haven't gotten to kind of dive in. I think like this palette is, is stunning. I mean, this is a perfect everyday palette, which is what I've been using it for. Um, it has a lot of the real nice neutrals. Um, obviously it has some really pretty sparkles and stuff in it as well. Those shades are just really just in my wheelhouse. I love Huda's matte shadows. They are some of my absolute favorite shadows. I feel like since her very first palette, I did not buy the remastered palette because I still have the other one. And I just felt that that was kind of wasteful. But this one, her minis, I, I love her matte shadows. So I'm gonna be using this palette today. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. So I'm gonna go in, whew, there's just so many options. Um, I think, do I wanna set this? No, I'm not gonna set this. I'm gonna go straight in with this color Secret, which is kind of like a cool tone brown, and I'm just taking it on a very, I don't wanna take it on that large of a brush. I need something a wee bit smaller. I'm going to take this on a Morphe E17. Now, her, these matte shadows, for whatever reason, they do have a good amount of kickback, um, which is not what I remember her original palette being like. And I don't recall that the minis are like that either. Um, I don't know if it's just maybe the formulas. I'm not really sure. But again, I really haven't played with this palette a whole lot, so I don't even know if the formula is the same, to be very honest with you. I would have to look it up, which I'm not going to right now. So I'm just kind of taking this and running this through the crease, and then also to the front because I'm gonna do a halo look today. I'm kind of surprised that Huda was the first one to come up with like an all nude eyeshadow palette, especially with how popular like the nude tones got, I felt like last year. And I'm surprised that no other company or brand has put one out since. So she's kind of, she's on her own. So good for her. You know what, let me zoom you in. All right, so you're a little bit closer so you can kind of see a little bit more. So this shade is actually um, really pretty. This would be really nice um, on a big fluffy brush, just a quick wash of color, which I don't know if it's this shade or the other shade Tickle that I have used like this. I can't quite remember. But this is just, I'm just kind of outlining the shape that I want the eye to look. And I'm gonna do more of like a rounded corner because I don't plan on putting on falsies, although that always changes, you never know. So I'm gonna go in with this large domed brush. This is a Morphe M504. There's no product and I'm just gonna kind of buff the edges of this just to kind of give it a really nice and seamless look. All right, so next I'm gonna go into the color Spanked, which is this like this uh, cranberry color. So with this color spanked, I'm gonna take it right here on the outer edge and just really kind of in circle motions, just very lightly. And I'm just deepening up that outer corner. Can you stop? Anytime I try to film, one of these dogs has to come in here making some sort of noise. Chewing, licking, chewing on their bones the whole rest of the day. You know, all they're doing is sleeping.
taking that and packing that into that inner corner. And you know, you gotta make the other side match. I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe, the big fluffy brush. I wanna make sure there's nothing on it. I feel like, no, it's been cleaned. It's just, the last few looks I've done have been super colorful. And that's the last thing I want is, you know, a green or something to show up uninvited. You are not invited, ma'am. Please leave the party. All right, so I'm now gonna go back in with that E17. Same color was spanked. I'm still going in just to kind of build that color up just a little bit with just a little bit more precision with this brush. And see if you're not kind of knocking off some of this color, there's a good amount that comes off, so. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. Right here, it's kind of, I don't know if that's my eyelid or if that's the color. I feel like it's like, like it will not stick like right here. So maybe that's my funky eyelid, who knows. I'm gonna use a real precise, well not super precise, but just a normal domed brush. This is the Morphe M321 and I'm gonna go in with the color Love Bite. And this is, it has more of a purple tone to it. And I'm gonna just use this right here along kind of the lash line. When you can see there's a good amount of fallout right there. Um, so just beware. I don't have foundation on, so not a big deal. And I'm only gonna do this darker color right on the edges, just kind of in this like little outer V shape here. I first take it right at the lash line and then just kind of work it right into this V. And by V, I mean right here, like right like this. It's so funny because I watch videos sometimes and people say things like that and I'm like, what are you talking about? And you forget because you know what it is that maybe not everybody does. So. You know, always feel free to ask questions, especially if you're watching videos and somebody says something and you're not really sure, ask, ask that question. You know, we forget, I, I definitely forget. So I'm just packing that color in, that purple color, the love bite, just to really intensify that outer corner. And then back in with my big fluffy brush, just to kind of mesh everything together. These do blend together really, really well. I will say that. Um, I feel like that darker shade, it blends a little bit away, but it just enough to where you still have it but it looks very diffused. It's very easy to work with, which I appreciate. So it's it's easy to not go overboard, which I which I like. Although I do feel like the pinkish colors, the spanked color, I feel like that one does kind of blend away a little easier. So you kind of have to find a happy medium. So I'm just going back in and increasing the color where I feel like I need to. Just kind of going back and forth between those two. We're looking like we got some pink eye. Excellent. Just what we wanted, right? In this palette, there are one, two, three, four shades. So one is here, 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 and here. And they look kind of like they're crushed. Um, let me see what this says on the back. Four, ref four multi-reflective shadows, two pressed glitters, one pressed pearl. Um, I wonder which one is the pressed pearl. Because pressed pearl, I would think, would be those four. So I don't know which one of those four would be the pressed pearl. But these do have the glitter in them. 
Um, and I mean, why not? Isn't that pretty? Ooh. That is infatuated. Ooh. <laughs> this is excite. So these are the pressed glitters. Are you gonna are you are you gonna focus? There you go. So this is excite, this is infatuated. These are our pressed glitter colors. Um, Excite is definitely more of a true rose gold, where Excite, or I'm sorry, Infatuated is more of a pink with gold reflex in it. I definitely want more of the rose gold look. So I don't know if I want to do glitter. I know that that's shocking. Let me actually, I'm going to try, I want to try these other like the, I, I don't know what these pressed pigments. Um, I think I'm going to go in with Daydream. And I know that these I'm sure you have to use on your finger, which is not my favorite. If you have been following me for any length of time, you know that. So I am taking Daydream on my finger and I'm just going to go right here in the center and I'm just pressing that on very gently. And ooh, she is reflective. Oh my goodness, that's, okay, that's really pretty. This eye look is definitely a Huda eye look. I feel like her signature look with those like berry tones, like the pinkish, I think is just one of the absolute prettiest looks that you can do. And I feel like she pulls it off extremely well. I hate, I hate using my fingers for this because I feel like I can never get the precision right, especially if I have nails. All right, and then I'm gonna go back with one of the brushes I was using just to kind of blend the edges a little bit. I don't want it to look totally crazy. All right, these shadows are stunning. Why can't makeup wipes just come out of the package one by one like they're supposed to? So I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup just right here in the corner, not anything dramatic, because remember I'm trying to keep a more round shape. And I definitely have some fallout on this side. Some of the little glitters from that pressed shadow. So for my brow bone, I'm gonna use the bare color in here. The name is actually Bear. And I am going to pop off camera and do my brows real quick and I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Forgot that I didn't hit the record button. So I, I know I said I wasn't doing lashes, but here we are. So I did my brows real quick, cleaned up underneath. I went ahead and did lashes and I added a little baby wing right here, just because the big wing is just, one, I can't do them really well unless I like use the tape and I just didn't feel like that. And I just wanted just a little something extra, but I'm gonna, bring this down on the lower lash line. But first, I guess I should put some foundation and such on, which I was forgetting about as I started to put um, some eyeliner on. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. So to prime my face, I'm gonna be using the Oldie But Goody Smashbox Primer Water. Haven't used this in a hot minute. Ooh, and you can tell, okay. with the sprayer okay I feel like that's spitting all over my face like a camel so let's I'm gonna go ahead and use because I don't feel like that did anything for me I'm gonna use the Farsali the unicorn essence this is the pink one just put a little bit over here I'm just gonna kind of spread that in with my It Cosmetics foundation brush. 
and I know everybody asks, you know, why, why you need to rub your foundation and I just, I just don't like having my hands all in everything on my face. I feel like there's a lot of contamination that goes on and I try to be real mindful with how much I really touch my face, even though I know my hands are clean, but you know, I think about it as like what it, a makeup artist, like they do not always have their hands all in their clients' faces. You know, they use a lot of brushes and stuff, so. And their makeup lasts for hours and hours on end, so it can't be all that bad for you. So, and I'm starting to get really, really red right here. And that's just like, my skin's just getting hot. I think it's just from doing so much. So that's not a reaction or anything. That's, that's just the skin that I was born with. I think actually I'm going to go ahead and do my Tarte Stick Foundation. This is the Clay Stick in Fair Light. And I've been using this a little bit more lately. And I've forgotten like how much I really like it. It just, it takes a little bit of setting and prep work and such for it to actually stay on my face because it is very moisturizing, but the finish, I love the finish of this. So I just take any foundation brush and I normally just kind of stipple this in. I don't try to rub. I just try to stipple this all over. Normally I would use a beauty blender or beauty sponge, but I'm too lazy to get up to go and wet one right now. Cause I forgot. <laughs> Such a first world problem I know. And I'm looking like powder. But this does warm up a little bit on my face. I mean, you can see up here, it is starting to kind of change. I feel like this, I don't know if oxidizes is the right word, but um, it, for me, it does. It kind of changes colors. It, it oxidizes, I guess. There was another word I read somewhere that you should use instead of oxidize because oxidize wasn't the technical term for it. But I can't remember. So right now we're gonna say she changes colors and oxidizes on my face about a half a shade, roughly, because I'm looking in the monitor and it doesn't look like that in person, but if it looks like that, you guys are thinking, oh girl, <laughs> you look a mess. It'll be okay, we'll get through. Gosh, does it really look that ghostly on camera? can't tell like right there I look like powder in the monitor I look like I am a ghost I did not see a ghost I am the ghost I'm gonna use my Fenty matchstick and this is in the color amber and I find that if I put this directly on and then try to blend I lose a lot of color or foundation I take um, just like a small buffing brush this is a Luxie 512. This is actually a small contouring brush. And I just kind of pick some up right here on the edge of on the end. And I put that in just to kind of give my face a little more structure. <laughs> in this case, some color. But this kind of has a grayish undertone. So I will go in with bronzer as well. I'm really hoping that I don't look as white as the viewfinder is making me look. If the light's crazy and going up and down, sorry, the sun's going down. I forgot I had my window open. Should have closed it before, I although I thought I had more time. I didn't think I would be taking this long. All right, to set my face, I'm gonna be using my Jeffree Star powder. And I'm only gonna set right here, actually, yeah, I'm only gonna set right here just a little bit. Um, that Tarte, uh, the Tarte foundation, it is really nice, but I feel like if you don't lightly set it, it feels like it moves around and I don't like that. That is not for me. But even setting it, I think that it still gives you a really pretty finish. 
I'm really hoping that the lighting is not all funky in this video. Because if so, I'm still posting it. So for bronzer, I am gonna use the Butter Bronzer. I was on this train for a really long time and then I kind of was like, oh, okay, I need, to, I need to try some other stuff, but I've started using it again. I love it. I love. It just gives just the right amount. It's perfect. So for blush today, I'm gonna be using my Pixi. Um, I guess this is in Dolce Candy. I don't know if that is a person, if that is probably maybe a YouTuber, but I'm gonna be using this. And this blush palette is all, it all has like a very reflective, are you gonna do your job and what are we doing here? Like everything in this palette is very reflective. So it can be used for both highlight and blush. So just, you know, use with caution. But I'm just gonna smile and put this right on the apples and bring up. Just to kind of bring a little bit of pink down to kind of match with our eyes. I kind of want to dip into one of these colors for like a bronzy. I feel like, I feel like this look could use it. Though I also feel like the lighting could just be playing with me. So I'm going to use this shade right here. I think this is called Dolce or Dolce, Dolce. Just kidding, not Dolce. Not like Gabbana. Um, I'm gonna use this one right here and I'm gonna use that kind of as my highlighter, but I'm gonna keep it really high up. Ooh, that's very pretty because it definitely has like a bronzy. So I'm going to use the Dewy Glow Fix Dewy Glow Fixing Spray by Catrice. This is the Prime and Fine. You already know. For lips today, I never line my lips. Not well, unless I'm doing a video, really. Um, but I'm going to gonna I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna be using this Makeup Forever pencil. This is in the color. In 12 I think but I'm gonna actually line and probably fill in because I'm gonna be doing a bolder lip today and for my color I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lip in Santa baby it's a beautiful berry color and this color I love it but it can be a little bit intimidating as well but I think it's gonna go really beautifully with the eyes Okay, so that is my finished look for today. I am really pleased with how this came out. I am loving the eyes. These lashes, I don't know if I said, these are by Lily Lashes. These are in the style, I think Gia, Gia, I'll link it down below. Um, very pretty, very easy and comfortable to get on. Only a few coins to the curse jar were needed to get these lashes on. So that's always a plus. Um, I'm loving the berry tones. The berry tones, I'm definitely a fan of. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps other people be able to see this video if they are not subscribed to my channel. And also make sure if you are not already subscribed, you have and you hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I am uploading videos. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you guys in my next video.